Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. And in our last episode, you know, we had taken off the gear cover and whatnot on our on our Arma Fury BLX. Uh, we saw that the the pinion mesh was was very tight in here. Uh, actually, going back and inspecting this, I can't even get a piece of paper to go through this. Right, it, it, it takes a lot of force, and that's usually how it even ripped the paper here. That's how usually you set the the pinion mesh is that you you put a piece of paper in between the gears and then you tighten the gears, right? Um, especially with a a, a thirty two pitch gear here, uh, which you want to actually be even looser than a thirty uh, than a, sorry a forty eight pitch gear like on on your slashes and whatnot and your stampedes. Uh, and your your rustlers, etc. You know the the Arma the Armas comes with a a beefier 32 bitch gears. I, I think this may only be on the BLX um, models here, but um, given uh, you know given the 32 pitch gears uh, and the size of this pinion, this is actually being maxed out here, right? So you'll notice these are the the screws that go into the motor to hold it in place. Um, I can't actually get any more space, right? I can't actually get the pinion to go any further from the spur gear. And I, I, I remember now actually when I was when I was putting in this pinion, right? I was I was going up a pinion size there. Um, this was the only pinion that we had on hand in the garage. So I went ahead and I tried it, and I thought um, we we'd give it a shot here. So let me see if I can find the num number of teeth on this pinion. Uh, sometimes they're they're embossed. Uh, you, you'll see an engraving there. This one actually doesn't say, so I don't recall. I'm gonna actually have to count the pinions, the, the teeth here, and I won't bore you guys by doing that while you watch. Um, but um, let's go ahead. Let me pause the video here and I'll count them. All right, so this is an 18 tooth pinion, right? So how I usually count these is that, I didn't want to bore you guys on video, but um, I start with my fingernail on the first tooth that is to the right of the set screw there, right? So like this, and then I just go my way around. So this is an 18 tooth pinion. Um, and I, I had sized this up because I think we were running, uh, you know, a, a 12 or 13 tooth before and it just didn't have the top end speed that I wanted, right? So I, I, I went to a bigger pinion, um, and this was the only one we had on hand. Uh, we'll, we'll probably have to get something like a 17 or 16 tooth pinion um, and try that in here so we have some adjustment room. And again, the 18 tooth, um, I, I just couldn't get enough uh, spacing in between the gears. So it was, running, uh, it was running hot, you could actually feel the heat the, from the friction on the on the gear cover here, right? So after running it for a couple minutes, I actually I put my finger here and it was noticeably hot, meaning uh, I I could I could only have my finger there for a couple of seconds before it was too hot um, to keep there. So definitely there there was a lot of friction. You can actually see the dust, right, from that additional friction. It was you know you don't want to run too tight of a mesh. Uh, because it, it just puts a lot of extra heat and wear onto the gears uh, and on the motor itself, right? That's actually that's extra resistance, extra friction that the motor has to work against to move the car forward. So just some things to keep in mind, 18 teeth pinion, 18 tooth pinion on a 32 pitch gear is way too big uh, for the Fury and probably the other associated platforms, right? Like um, the Granite, the Fury, the Raider, they all use uh, the same transmission, right? Um, you may not see this, uh, the the um, the metal motor mount on some of the lower grade ones, and actually I don't even know if they do it on the, the newer versions of the, the Fury, the Raider, and the Granite, uh, and I forgot what their stadium truck was called, but they all use the same uh, transmission or the same basis for it, but they're, they're various... Um, they're, they're, they're variants between the different grades, right? They have the, the Mega, the BLS, and the BLX. This is a BLX, uh, and I think they call it the, the, the 2014 version or whatnot, uh, which has the metal, um, the metal twin vertical plates as well as the, uh, the metal motor mount and 
the uh the speed control right and the the motor are different with the blx you can actually see it marked uh, blx right there and also on the the speed control blx so lesson learned uh, we have to go with a, a 17 tooth pinion or smaller on this uh, again once we we get a gear of the appropriate size we'll um, we'll go ahead and put that back on use a piece of paper to determine the gear mesh and uh, tighten down our screws of course using loctite um, on these screws since it's metal going into metal and you definitely don't want these screws backing out or else your your gear mesh is going to be ruined right it, it's it's just going to be um, you know loosened and, and you're going to get a, a bigger gap in between these gears and chances are when this the pinion gear is just going to go ahead and chew up the plastic gear here uh, because this is metal on plastic um, so if they're not perfectly meshed, you're going to get um, either greater wear um, or uh, greater friction like we, we spoke about. It's just not a good situation, so you want to make sure that that, that uh, pinion mesh is set properly. So thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.